With all the details and to-dos of daily life, do you find yourself having a hard time seeing the forest for the trees? How about the flowers for the bees? I guess it's more the flowers and the bees. Or bee mimics. Slowing down a bit, I'm feeling more and more the significance of relationships, of interactions. Of how little, out there at least, is done in isolation. of how each moment of interaction builds upon the last. I feel a yearning to experience, or at least notice these things that are happening all the time, but are so often hidden from view. Some of us, okay, I, I've been practicing and perfecting social distancing for decades, squatching among the wild things. But the best parts of my job are all about relationship, about interaction, about finding connection with the world outside ourselves and developing relationships that slug their way into the world inside ourselves. Then there are the interactions we only notice if we stop and listen even if there's something else we think we should be paying attention to. Those interactions we only notice when we slow to the pace of the critters at play. Some interactions are a little more obvious. Over the past eight years working on the Campus Natural Reserve, facilitating these moments, participating in connection with others, watching these new relationships form through stewardship, education, and research, these moments have been the highlight of my job. The Campus Natural Reserve is the natural habitat for these relationships. The unknowable complexity of all the life about, the empowered feelings of new skills gained among new friends, with the size of the reserve poised to double with the upcoming long-range development plan, I'm looking forward to witnessing and participating in even more of these interactions, where we'll all get to see the forest and the trees, the flowers and the bees, and the slime molds too. And send it to the students. All the spores on your finger. Yeah.